This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get a video that I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I was watching Frankie Muhammad's video and CSI's video. And, you know, some people will ask me, do I agree with them as far as the market being corrupt? And, of course, I agree with Frankie Muhammad. Of course, I agree with CSI. The market is corrupt and the politicians are paid off. And they do absolutely nothing to protect retail investors, to protect pension funds, and to protect institutions that follow the rules. But, but, I do disagree with them on the fact that you can't make money in the stock market, even with the corruption. I mean, hands down, it's corrupt. Hands down, these bad actors can do whatever they want. But I still see opportunities to make money in spite of the corruption. I mean, there's certain things. Cash secured puts, covered calls. There's certain things that, that they can control, but they can't control it all the way. When, when, what Frankie said about the short plays, the short squeezes, and that Citadel hand is probably in all of it. Of course, that is a, a distinct possibility. Because Citadel, Ken Griffin, they're huge. They're huge. They're the biggest market maker. A majority of the, the trades that go on in the New York stock market go through Citadel. So, of course, they're somehow involved in every single short play. But, in my opinion... None of this can happen without FINRA because FINRA is fully aware that they traded 10 times the float of a company or 20 times the float of a company because they have the blue sheets. FINRA has the blue sheets. If we get the blue sheets, in my opinion, this exposes all the fraud and corruption that's in the market as we know it. But the only way we get those blue sheets is if we get a judge to force them to turn those blue sheets over because they're never going to voluntarily give us a smoking gun. They're not going to do that. So I believe there's corruption in the market. I believe the politicians are fully aware of what's going on. I believe the SEC is fully aware of what's going on. I believe the DOJ is fully aware of what's going on and the FBI. But despite all of that, despite all of that, you got retail investors who are making money in the market anyway. In spite of the fraud and corruption, every week, you got retail investors making money. They're, they're running the wheel strategy. They're running covered calls. They're doing cash secure puts. They're doing credit spread, call credit spreads, put credit spreads. I mean, there's money to be made. But... Would we make more money or have an opportunity to make more money without the fraud and corruption? Of course we would. Of course we would. So I'm not telling anybody to invest in the stock market or not invest in the stock market. That's not what I'm telling you. You have to come to your own conclusion and do what's best for you, what's best for your family, what's best for your pockets. But me personally, I'm gonna, I am fully aware of the fraud and corruption. I'm fully aware of the malfeasance. But... I still see opportunities where every week I can make money. So I am going to continue to play the markets. And if you feel that there's too much fraud and corruption in the market and you don't want to play, then you shouldn't play. Then you shouldn't play because everybody has different risk tolerance. Everybody has different risk tolerance. What I might consider risky, you might not consider risky. And what you might consider risky, I might not consider risky. So it, it, it's all subjective to the individual. But is there fraud and corruption in the market? Yes. Are the politicians aware of it? Yes. Is, is the SEC, DOJ, and FBI aware of it? Yes. Are they going to do something about it? I'm not sure. But I believe the CAT system, the first CAT system report, 
should be released by the end of this month. So hopefully the information in that first report is so severe that it shames the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI into doing their job and protecting retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the law. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the market is so corrupt that it's impossible for retail investors to make money? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.